The enthusiastic band played the night away with their hearts in every note. The young newbie Sucker Free and the veteran Nigel aka Juan Punch had everyone in the ballroom from backstage to the front of the room swinging, snapping their fingers or tapping their feet in the least. Everyone dressed snazzy 1930s style. Two particularly in the crowd were convinced that this was the band to win the contest. The notes, I can feel them dancing in the air. The older sister Para said, reaching high in the air like she was hoping to grasp them. This has been the best competition in years. The younger sister, Noya, could not take her eyes off the beautiful instruments they played. She eyeballed them with a deep hunger. Is it time yet? That is when the band members started to sing. How will I ever get home in these vipers? Bite to the bone. Ridiculous to fiddle with the monkey in the middle with these sisters all on their own. The sisters took offense to this, with the band not only eyeing, but pointing at them. They repeated themselves with large grins directed at them. How will I ever get home in these vipers? Bite to the bone. Ridiculous to fiddle with the monkey in the middle with these sisters. Before they finished the verse, a chilling silence came from everyone in the room but them. All eyes were on them, and if looks could kill, well murder would be full in the air. Their skin turned scaly, one was pale white and the other azure. This was the true look of the Viper Sisters. The man on the drums stood up with a flip of the sticks. The drums flew up with, the, with them. The bandana mask he wore swooped over them, and a guitar was now in his hands. The elusive Viper Sisters. We finally found you. You want it all over the country. He said, stroking his beard with authority. The second bandmate was still playing the saxophone, like nobody's business. He was in his own zone. One of the Viper Sisters spoke out. Para, if the shoe fits, it's a ballroom blitz. Out of the jacket of the sister came a Tommy gun firing a barrage of not bullets, but colorful notes that complemented the tune Sucker Free played. Nigel's crazy fish-shaped mustache started battering away at the firing. He jumped on the table, flipped it, and swung around the room to lightening the large group of puppets the sisters had gathered over the years at events such as these. These puppets were the very crowd. Making his way to the sisters, the table eventually broke, leaving him literally punching the notes out of the air. The younger sister faded into the environment, taking control of it. Sucker Free swirled around in a wild dance, not missing a beat with the saxophone. Dashing to the side, Nigel grabbed two tables, and while still dodging the Tommy gun, rolled the tables into the crowd like they were bowling pins. STRIKE! A swirl of notes that matched the pattern of Sucker Free, dancing surrounded all the puppets in cages. Through the tremendous barrage of the Tommy Gun notes, one had smacked him in the eye. As Nigel fell back, all he could do was admire how great the music still was. Beautiful! He fell into the crowd, brain dancing them off him. As the other puppets made their way to Sucker Free, he made his bandana hold his saxophone as he readied his hands for the slap, slap palooza. Bam! Pow! Swang and shang! Each hit, each hit complimented the melody so wonderfully. The colorful notes were flying all over the place. A loud shackle of change unhinged, slamming a large chandelier onto the barroom floor. Of course the puppets were safe out of the way. The younger Viper sisters swung from the chains in a large shadowy cloak, filled with snakes and a microphone over her face like a mask, with a white Rorschach designed to it. One breath, a wave of notes expelled from an around her with one roar. With the majority of this wave coming for him, Sucker Free with one clap yelled a matching one. Let's go! Waza! Welcome to the Odyssey. So welcome to Audio Odyssey. This is a series of mine where I write short stories based off of music from the Audio Library channel here on YouTube. So below, this song is based off of Noir, a very cool 1930s-esque song that I found. So I, had, I knew I had to write a short story off it, inspired by the whole Cuphead uh, game that came out last year. So I do hope you guys enjoy. Do be sure to check out the link in the description below to check out Audio Library's channel, a channel that is dedicated to popping out new music every day for YouTubers like us to use freely in our content you know as long as we give them the proper shout out to their channel and the 
uh, creators of the original song. As this was Noir Boogie, at least part one. I do want to do a part two to this since I kind of did end it on the cliffhanger. But let me know what you thought about it. Do be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff below. If you enjoyed this, let me know any type of stories you'd like for me to write in the future. And until the next wind touch sales yet again, guys, I will see you in the next Odyssey. Later days. I'm in trouble.